Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk in details about PID function block in EPLAS code assist software that is for the European PLCs. It can be helpful as well if you want to design PID controller in code assist. The name of the function block is eControl PID and if you bring a box from toolbox and click on three points the input assistance will open then go to text uh, search and write PID and then select the uh, e-control PID. Uh, I prepared the temperature control loop before and I want to explain how to do the setting. If you double click on the function block, it goes to the library manager and you can find in the documentation tab details about the inputs and outputs of the function. As you can see here, RPV is the process variable or measured value. XPV failed can be used if there is any fault in sensor measuring. RSP is the set point and target value for the process value. STSPITF is used if you connect a set point generator function block. If a set point generator is connected, then it overrides the RSP input. In this project, I use the set point generator function that allows to specify two different selectable set points that can be used by the control loop. Here it is selectable between set point programmer and manual set points. Setpoint Programmer is able to produce the setpoint profile as you want and in another, in another video I will talk about the setpoint programmer. If uh, XAltSP enable is false, it uses setpoints 1 or 2. If it has been set true, it selects the alternate setpoint or R alt sp that here is connected to set point programmer in this project I have done it okay coming back to PID function block next parameter is e automan in uh, that is uses to uh, select manual or automatic mode the default setting is the automatic mode in automatic mode, uh, the control loop algorithm controls the operation, but in manual mode, the user can set the channel output level directly. ITTS is the sample time of the measured value. For this, we use the sampling time generator. For the sampling time, I define the register IT sample and the type of it is L time. Here you can see that uh, I use the function block that it's the sample generator. Uh, the input of the sample generator is the register IT backplane, and you can see the type is L time. And uh, here in uh, the backplane uh, setting of the PLC, uh, it is synchronized with the clock of the PLC and it is set to 110 milliseconds. Okay, we will come back to the parameters of the uh, PID function. Next one is manual output variable. In manual control mode, uh, our target output is set to the value of the variable associated with our manual output. Target output indicates what output the loop is trying to achieve. It is expressed as a percentage between minus 100 to 100. Working set point reports the set point value that currently being used by the control loop. Current control error that reports the difference between the measured process value and the set point. Irresolved mode reports the current control mode of the control loop. 
if x loop uh, has true value in the case that the control loop is failing to control the process value or if f output is used for the feed forward in the control loop if it is uh, if it exists optional interface to be able to use a uh, gain a scheduler function block for PID gains if x auto tune execute has been set true it initiates the auto tuning mode of PID control st config uh, configures the variable of the PID control and uh, ST tuning ST tune set is using for tuning variables. If I click on the structure folder and then uh, gain scheduling, you will see the whole setting for the tuning. Uh, take into account that the first parameter is proportional band and it has reverse ratio to proportional gain. The next parameters are integral time and derivative time and as you as you know if you increase these times finally you have a smaller gain for the integral and derivative gains and they have also the reverse ratio. Uh, next three parameters are the same for the channel 2 if it exists. Uh, and also it is possible to set the percentage of high and low limits of the output the cutback high and low can be set as well and here you can see how I did the initialization for tuning the PID games RXP is the proportional band TTI is the integral time and TTD is the derivative time. Uh, in this project, I did a temperature control, and as you know, the temperature control of a furnace has a very slow dynamic, and in general, it is easier to control. Uh, my method in temperature control is that first I choose a big value for integral time and derivative time to almost cancel effect of them on the control loop. And then I decrease the proportional band to achieve to a desired rise time of the response. After that, I try to decrease the integral time to make the steady state error equal to zero. And also I decrease the derivative time to remove the fluctuations of the process value around the set point. Here I will show you the, uh, the online mode the set point is 700 and the PID function output is now is uh, 27%. In another video, I explained how to give this value to the digital output module. In set point generator, uh, now the X alt uh, SP enable is false, so it takes the set point from SP1 that it is equal to 700. As soon as X alt uh, SP enable is true, the set point is equal to the output of the set point programming. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and please like this video and subscribe the channel. Have a good time.